Attorney General Eric Holder has some explaining to do. The House Judiciary Committee is steaming mad at him for his role in spying on Associated Press and Fox News journalists. For weeks, the Attorney General refusing to answer additional questions about the journalists targeted. Now, he is prepared to answer them. House Judiciary Committee Chair Congressman Bob Goodlatte is here. Nice to see you, sir. Good to be with you. So, um, after some back and forth, the Attorney General has decided to come back? He walked up until the end of last week. Uh, we gave him uh, that amount of time to schedule a hearing with the committee. came back and said three things. One, uh, he'll answer the letter that we originally sent him a month ago, and he will do it fully. Uh, and then he'll come up and meet with the uh, uh, chairman, the ranking member of the full committee, the subcommittee, so myself, Jim Sensenbrenner, John Conyers, Bobby Scott, because he says that because the Kim case, the leaker in the Rosen matter, uh, is still under prosecution, he can't answer everything in public, so he'll come up and talk to us in private. We'll then judge whether his answers are fulsome and whether we need to do more. Are you uh, most curious, Lisa, I'm certainly most curious uh, about the May 15th testimony when he uh, disavowed having any sort of knowledge of information about potential prosecution of, of journalists. Is that what you're interested in or not? I'm interested in three things. I'm interested in getting the answers to our questions, which are focused on the James Rosen matter. Uh, he came before the committee. He said, uh, with regard to the potential prosecution of reporters, I've never heard of that. A week later, a judge who I think was watching all of this with the AP uh, matter and the investigation of the reporters there said, oops, I haven't released this uh, search warrant that I was to seal for three, uh, 18 months. I unseal it three years later. And he actually took the time to apologize to the American people for being uh, a year and a half late. But that gave us the information in that warrant which said that uh, not only did they accuse uh, uh, Rosen of being uh, a uh, co-conspirator in a violation of the espionage law, but also that he was a flight risk. So to say he wasn't a potential prosecution, I don't know how those two jive, but we've asked the Attorney General to explain that. All right. Now, um, the uh, interesting thing about, um, about this is that, you know, he, the, the question was asked of him originally he seemed to be sort of centered on the Associated Press, the AP story. At least that's what the Justice Department is saying, so that when he answered the question about saying that he didn't know of anything about potential prosecution, that he was thinking only of the AP and not necessarily of the Rosen. Um, is, is, would that be a satisfactory answer to you or not? Well, it doesn't, because he approved uh, the whole process with regard to James Rosen. He approved that search warrant. And uh, now we hear uh, that that's not particularly their defense. Their defense is that this is standard operating procedure when you're investigating a leak to go after the reporter and tell the judge that the reporter is a criminal and therefore you can get around the Privacy Act, get the search warrant, go through his emails, and maybe that'll help you with the leaker. But that's not what the Privacy Act uh, is know, intended to do. Every time my clients have been named in a search warrant, they've usually been the target and arrested. I've never had them just sort of named for, you know, to be put in. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't buy that argument that not that's only that, the way but, it's but done. the allegations are a serious that they made them against the chief Washington correspondent of a major yeah. national organization, why wouldn't they prosecute him? Yeah, so I, I, they're I either that. lying to Congress, they're lying to the court, or they're doing both. It's got to be fixed. So we want answers to the questions, we want accountability, and we want to change how this is operating. Congressman, thank you. Nice to see you, sir. Thanks, Greg.